Thank you for calling PayPal. You are speaking with Rick. How may I help you? Hi, Rick. Um, I got a. I'm not sure what it is. Whether it's an invoice or something, but anyway, mm -hmm. it says that an order has been completed successfully, and mm -hmm. um, it's for eighteen hundred and ninety dollars. But it doesn't say what mm -hmm. it is. It doesn't say what it is anywhere. So could you t you tell me what it's for? Uh, let me check that, sir. On that email, sir. Do you have any invoice number uh, or order number? I do. TN3973 slash 93432. Okay. And when did you receive this email, sir? When did I get it? Well, let's see. It's dated uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Okay. Yep. And, uh, sir, may I also know uh, the email address? And you got this email from where exactly, sir? Is it from PayPal? Uh, well, I assume it is. Let's see. It's. Uh, let me look at it here. Uh, no, you so, got the email for pay PayPal, right? It would be written in that email. Uh, it looks like it's coming from PayPal. It says, any questions, please mm -hmm. call PayPal Billing Support. So I assume Certainly. it's PayPal. Okay. It, it, it yep. says that yeah, yeah. It's, the merchant information is something Oregon YYL at AOL.com and it was on a supposedly a debit card now I, I don't have mm -hmm. a pay I don't have a PayPal account so I'm curious mm -hmm. as to what's going on not a problem sir let me go ahead and check that just give me a few seconds sure <clears throat> answer uh, may I know a uh, uh, normally, are you the only user for your email address, or uh, because it seems that uh, uh, if the if you are not the one who have made any transaction, it is only possible if someone has your email credentials. So apart from you, is there anyone else who also uses your email at the same time? Uh, not to my knowledge. I mean, anybody I send an email to, of course, would have my email address. But no, but having an email address is a different thing, sir, and having the password for that is a different thing. Right. So, uh, I've yeah. never, Not I've never given, I've never given the password to anybody, but I, mm -hmm. I send out lots of emails. I mean, mm -hmm. that is completely fine. Sending email is not a problem. So, sir, uh, let me ask you, uh, how do you uh, check your emails? Uh, do you check it on your phone or do you check it on the computer? No, I use my laptop. Are, are you kidding? On a phone, the print is so small I can barely read it, and it's so hard to <laughs> it's don't. so hard to type on one of those things. I d I don't use my phone mm -hmm. for anything except a phone. <laughs> okay, I completely. I mean that's that, that's what I thought oh. they had phones for was to make phone calls. Mm -hmm. So I make phone calls. All this other right. stuff is just it's too hard for us old people. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah, I completely get that, sir. Okay, let's do one thing. Uh, it seems that if uh, this charge is showing up, and uh, this is showing up that this was an order that was placed already, uh, we would need to cancel that out, sir. If you're not the one, then uh, probably we need to go ahead and cancel it out. I can help you with that. So, sir, do you have your laptop with you right now? Yeah, I do. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, and on the laptop, do you have Chrome browser, uh, Google Chrome browser? I do. Uh, can you open up Google Chrome browser for me, please? Yep. Is it opened? Now no, on the coming, uh, coming up, Google coming Chrome. Up. There it is. Okay. okay, now it's open. Now at the very top, where you put in the website address, like www something, at the very top. Yeah. There, I, I want you to type in there, J as in Jack. Mhm. Mm C as in Charlie. Mhm. Mm a as in Apple, mm -hmm. R as in Romeo, mm -hmm. E as in Edward, mm -hmm. dot, dot, mm -hmm. I as in Indiana, mm -hmm. N as in November, mm -hmm. F as in Fox. Yep. O as in Oscar. Okay. So that would be jcare dot info. info. Got it. Yep. Hit enter and it would take you to a welcome page. 
Yep, it did. Uh, it would be asking you for the code. I'm giving you the code, sir. Please okay. put in the code uh, there. Mm -hmm. That would be uh, 71024. 71024, got it. And then hit on the forward arrow, which will be in red color just next to that. Okay, did that. Uh, you will see on the left hand side bottom a file getting downloaded saying support client, something like that. Yep, it did. Uh, double click on that and uh, it will open up uh, after it gets downloaded. Okay. Let me know uh, if uh, it does say anything, okay? Uh, let's see. Publisher cannot be verified. Are you sure you want to run this application? So I guess Tap I'll... on yes or... Okay, yeah. all right. I did that. that now was... what? Okay, it uh, downloaded and did something. You have successfully okay. connected to your session, it says. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, uh, just hold on, sir. Let me go ahead. Can you just go ahead and open your email? Sure. Mm Uh, now, can you just go to that email that you did receive uh, regarding this uh, transaction? I don't see one. It says... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see it here. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, sir, so now we are going ahead and checking, canceling the transaction. Your system will automatically go on update, okay? So you don't just leave your system as it is for, for a few minutes. Uh, it's getting updated. Let me get it done for you, okay? Sure. Okay. Just hold on. Okay. Uh, now, sir, I guess that you won't be able to, uh, you will be able to see on your screen that your system is uh, getting updated. Let me know once it says that, okay? Okay. Yeah, it does. It does? Okay, just leave this computer at it, uh, as it is, sir. Mm -hmm. Let me just get it checked right now, okay? Sure.
Just give me a few seconds, sir, okay? I'm still working on it. Okay. So are you using your computer right now? No, I'm moving the mouse around just for, because I'm getting bored just looking at the screen. But I'm not, I mean, I can't use it, so. I mean, apparently okay. it says, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, not a problem, sir. Just hold on. How much longer is this going to take? Uh, it will take for a few minutes. I'm okay. just working on it. I got things. Sure that it I works. got places to go and things to do. Okay, I'll take like five to ten minutes, not more than that. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll take less than that. That's too long. Uh, okay. I'll try to do it as soon as possible, sir. Okay. Can't be that hard. Mm -hmm. Just making sure, sir, you know, uh, everything is good so that you don't have to worry about it. That's the thing. So where are you guys located? Where are you guys located? I'm sorry. In New York. Whereabouts in New York? That's cool. I got relatives in New York. Okay, where exactly, sir? Uh, well, New York City, uh, Buffalo, Syracuse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Albany. So where are you located? Queens. Oh, you're in the city, huh? Yeah. Uh, now, sir, let me ask you here. It says that uh, basically this was uh, to uh, purchase a Bitcoin. So do you uh, use Bitcoin by any chance? Nope. You don't? No. No. I, and so uh, uh, let me uh, The way, I guess the the way cryptocurrency is falling, I can't imagine why anybody would at this point. It's falling. I can completely get that. But normally people buy that. If cryptocurrency is falling, that's the right time to purchase it, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, well, that, that, that of, course, of course, that's on the assumption that it's going to go back up. It would go back up, sir. Uh, not uh, now, maybe, but later. Don't count on it. Don't count on it. I'm not counting on anything, but yeah, it would. <laughs> Uh, let's hope so. Uh, I don't trade for Bitcoin, but uh, there are probably chances that it will go back up. Mm. Now, sir, uh, do you also use it for online banking your computer? Uh, well, I, uh, not really. My, I have a bank, a local bank that's right around the corner. So most of the time, I, my kids get upset when I try to do stuff online. They say, Dad. There are too many scammers out there trying to take your money, so don't mm -hmm. don't do things online. So, I, I have this uh, small bank right around the corner, very close to me, and uh, they're very nice mm -hmm. people. So, usually what I do is just walk down there and take care of my transactions that way. But anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, sir, uh, I have just checked it. Uh, probably, sir, there will be a transaction if you can get it checked. If there is any sort of transaction uh, till yet uh, on your bank, mm, if you can check it once, uh, but then we will good, be good to go. I have cancelled it, but it's saying that the transaction was already through. So can you check and let me know if the transaction was there or not? Uh, what What's the transaction supposed to be? Is it dollar amount or... Or what? What are you talking about? Uh, it would be on your debit card, sir. So that would be to your checking account. Um, yeah, but you haven't told Can me what kind it? of transit. Uh, is it a deposit? Is it a... I mean, what kind of transaction should I look for? Sir, it would be from your checking account and it would be yeah, a private transaction for purchasing of Bitcoin. That's what the... Uh, uh, in what it was about. Yeah, but I thought you said you canceled it, right? So I did cancel it, but it does say that it has progressed. If you are aware that uh, for the cryptocurrency transaction, once you uh, once you you know go ahead and purchase it, it's something that uh, uh, you don't get the option to put a charge back on that. So that's why I just want to be sure that uh, though I have already canceled it, but if the transaction is through or not, because if it will be through then there will be a different procedure altogether. So if you can check that and let me know. I'm, I'm very confused. I don't understand. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me that $890 was deducted from my checking account? Yes, sir. The money will be out of your checking account. And so what I need to do is to call the bank and find out if that transaction is indeed there. Now, what the bank can do, of course, is just reverse the transaction or cancel it, right? I mean, the bank can do that. So you would have to, it's a, P, uh, sir, normally a uh, cryptocurrency transaction is a P2P transaction. So the reversing of transaction is something that PayPal would have to do. So uh, your bank well, might I don't not be able to do that. That's for the problem. I don't understand that. So, how does this? How does bitcoins work? I mean, I thought that if I purchased bitcoins, the equivalent would be in in my account someplace, right? I would have the bitcoins in, no. in my account. No, no, it's not necessary, sir. If I put a, a different wallet address, so then in that case, it won't be with you. No, 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 you're misunderstanding. It, when, let's just say, let's do it instead of Bitcoins. Let's do it in, uh, let's say I, I purchase uh, a laptop, okay? Um, or no, I, what I do is purchase, uh, let's say I purchase $1,000 worth of euros, right? Now, I would, mm -hmm. I would get those euros, right? So, you, the euro will be purchased, right? Uh, for a euro, you have already purchased a cryptocurrency, but that depends if it has been put to your wallet or anyone else's wallet. So if you give a different wallet address, in that case, the currency will go to their account, not your account. That's what the problem is. Like, let's that say, doesn't I'll make give any, you an wait, example. It right? doesn't make any sense. Okay, so in other words, what you're telling me is, I go to the store, I buy a a laptop and they give it to somebody else. That doesn't make any sense. Yes. Once you purchase a cryptocurrency, sir, they ask you where you have to deposit it. There are normally wallets for that, right? So they would ask you for a wallet address. Now, if you give your wallet address, then the money will be will go to your account. Yeah, but I, if someone else's wallet account uh -huh. is given, in that case, the money will go to that particular account. That's what the problem is. You said that you didn't do that, right? That's clear that the person who might have purchased it by your name, using your details, is not purchasing it for you. They are purchasing the uh, bitcoins from your money to their account, right? Okay, so, but they took money out of my account. Exactly, that's what the problem is. Okay, so, yeah. and my account is insured against fraud. So I just call the bank and say, hey, these guys stole some money from me put it back in. And the bank would say, oh, okay, we contact the FBI, and the FBI will look mm -hmm. into it. In the meantime, you get your money back. I don't see the problem. 
right i don't do understand that sir but for paypal since it hasn't purchased through paypal we need to know that well, whether the money was deducted from your account or not right i am cancelling the transaction from well, my account you, no, wait you said it was deducted from my account i mean if it has if it has it not shows. if it has not been deducted yes, if it has not uh, no, wait, 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 wait 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 if it has not been deducted from my account no harm no foul if it has been deducted from my account and you and yes. it's a fraudulent transaction I'll, so we call the FBI the FBI gets involved and and the bank mm -hmm. because I'm insured the bank puts the money back in my account no harm no foul i don't see the problem okay either way either way i got that's what i was saying yeah i think that's i think that's the thing to do and then i'm in great shape and and you guys at paypal well that's your problem to figure out how to stop the fraudulent transaction so i mean you might be out the 1890 dollars but i'm not out the money i'm in good shape see so i don't see any right, problem sir, so not a problem, sir. So that please go ahead and uh, check with your bank and see if there is any sort of transaction. That's what the main thing is, right? Yeah. Please I'll, do that, sir. Well, I'll call them up. That's the easiest way to do it. Sure, no problem. I'll just give them a buzz here. Okay. So hang on. I'm, sure, I'm going gonna, gonna to put you on hold for a minute while I call the bank. Sure, sir. Please do that. <laughs> All right, let's let's call him back and just see what happens. Uh, when I put him on hold, he disconnected. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Where are we? Thank you for calling PayPal. You are speaking with Sam. How can I help you? Yeah, hey, Sam. How you doing? I think I was talking to you or somebody like you a minute ago. Maybe it was Rick. I don't remember his name. Anyway, um, I called the bank, and the bank verified that there had been no deduction from my account. So I don't okay, quite see the problem. Okay, there no deduction from your account? Uh-uh. All right, sir. So then there's no problem if, you, if the money has not been deducted, then... It means the transaction couldn't be through, right? Well, I don't know. I assume you guys have canceled it and you took care of all the bitcoins and everything, right? Uh, okay, yeah. I just want to make sure that you guys are are cool with that because I'm I'm happy as a clam. So. I understand, sir. I'll I'll help you with that. Okay, just provide me a moment. Let me just check out all the details. Help me with what? I mean, is it, what's there? There's nothing to help me with, right? I said I'm going to check all the details and if there would be something oh. to help you out, then I'll do that. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh my <laughs> I disconnected them from the support connect and I guess they finally figured the jig was up anyway that was fun <laughs>